On September 30th, 2025, out of nowhere, OpenAI quietly released Sora 2, a text-to-video model that actually ships synchronized audio, better physics, and a companion, TikTok-style app called Sora. This is not just prettier moving pixels. It's video plus sound, plus your face, if you opt in. It is October 2nd, 2025, and you're watching the daily dose of AI. Last year's crop of text video models could make cool clips, but they were often physically inconsistent and totally silent. Zora 2's pitch is straightforward. Obey physics more, so a missed basketball doesn't teleport. Produce synchronized dialogue and sound effects and give creators more steerability over shots and style. OpenAI also says Sora 2 will be available through Sora.com, a standalone iOS app, and eventually an API. The problem is obvious. Realistic video plus audio accelerates both creativity and misuse. OpenAI framed this launch as iterative and safety first. More on that in a bit. Sora 2 natively generates soundtracks and speech that line up with the visuals. No more mouthed words, silent room. It's a step toward full audiovisual generation. OpenAI claims improved modeling, so motion slash contacts are more believable. They specifically call out rebounds, buoyancy, and complex body motion. That matters when you want plausible stunts, not sloppy morphing. More control over camera angles, cuts, and scene style, useful for prototyping, social ads, or quick storyboards. You can upload your likeness, face, plus voice sample, and have Sora insert you into generated scenes, but that triggers extra safety checks. The system card says real person generations are subject to tighter thresholds and explicit opt-in consent. OpenAI isn't removing friction everywhere. Initial access is invitation-based, the app is iOS first in the US and Canada, and the company says API availability is future. Expect limits, rate caps, and a staged rollout. OpenAI hasn't published a permanent price in the launch notes. However, TechCrunch reports ChatGPT Pro users may get early access to Sora 2 Pro features without an invite. Treat pricing as TBD. Don't read it into your budget yet. Artifacts still show up. Lip sync slips, scene glitches, motion blur oddities in complex shots. Public demos already show this. The model is a leap, not magic. OpenAI explicitly blocks text to video of public figures and video to video at launch, and it applies C to PA metadata plus visible moving watermarks to generated videos to support provenance. That's an industry level attempt at traceability, not a silver bullet. Also, invite codes are already a hot commodity. There are reports of people reselling invites, which is both a marketing problem and an access fairness problem. People will scalp invites. This changes the checklist. Generative stacks will soon need to handle video plus audio assets, sync metadata, provenance headers, C2PA, and moderation hooks. Expect new SDKs, plugins, and cost models for render time. Owning both the model and the feed, the Sora app, is the same playbook we saw in images. Host it, moderate it, monetize distribution. That makes OpenAI not just a model vendor, but a platform operator. The problem is regulatory and reputational risk scales with distribution. Yes, the deepfake debate gets louder now. We built AI to make content creation easier, then quickly gave the same tech the power to impersonate people, because capitalism likes speed and friction, hates regulation. Sora 2 is a real inflection, not perfect, but usable for fast prototyping, social shorts, and creative experiments. If you build content tools, start thinking about video plus audio pipelines, provenance tags, and tighter moderation flows. Don't assume it's production grade for feature films yet. Smash the like and subscribe. And here's the open question to close on. Do you trust an AI to own your face and voice if it makes you go viral? Or would you rather keep your likeness under your own lock?